we're gonna start working on making it a little more random as to which of these fruits here, banana, uh, mango, pineapple, etc., uh, fall uh, every couple seconds or so. Right now it's just the banana. So this will take a few steps and this is the first step as part of that. So it's this random spawning. Uh, right now, uh, we're gonna add an attribute and we're gonna do a, not a game level attribute, which we did in the past. We're going to do a self or actor attribute here. So I'm gonna click on the plus button for, in, for uh, attributes and I'm gonna create an integer. Remember an integer is a whole number. It cannot be like 6.3. That would be something like a real number. It can only be one, two, three, four, five, or six or negative numbers as well. Okay, cool. We have our integer there and we're gonna name it which item, got that? Which item? Might help if you spelled item correct. Uh, big, big I, by the way, an item. So which item? And we'll leave that at zero right there. Got it? Now, we're going to go and add a change attribute behavior at the top of this timer. So remember the timer goes off every somewhere between one and three seconds randomly, and then we do stuff. So in there, we're gonna add a change attribute change attribute. Cool. I'm going to drag that right up here, actually. All right. So the attribute, we just made it. It's called anybody, anybody. That's right. Which item? So I'm going to find which item. Whoops. It's actually a, a, a self, my bad, dot, which item? There it is right there. So change the attribute self dot which item. And we're going to change it to a random number. So I'm gonna click on here. Remember we did random up here, so it's gonna be the same idea. And random. And this time it's gonna be one through five, because there's actually five items that can fall down. We have the banana, the pineapple, the frog, the, I can't remember, we'd have to look, but mango, et cetera. And this comes up with five different items. So we want somewhere between number one and number five items to show up. Now we're gonna add another rule here and we're gonna put that rule just below change attribute here. So I'm gonna type in rule, there's our rule. And I put that just below change attribute here. And this rule is gonna be called rule spawn banana. Got that? Uh, for now, this is what they call a condition right here. We're going to delete it. And that's all we have to do right now. Go ahead and do that. And then in the next video, we'll do a little bit more. We'll go into part two, which will do a better job of explaining why we're doing this in the first place. Okay? All right, go.